Hey, it's Janice Wilson Hughes. We're here in my kitchen today instead of in the pottery studio because I'm going to show you how to make lotion bars. And the reason that I love these is that they provide a lot more protection for my skin when I'm throwing or hand building or just have my hands in clay or glaze or what have you around the studio. Those things dry out my skin really badly and my cuticles actually right now are just a mess which is why I needed to make some more lotion bars. Now I just made a batch this weekend and I asked you guys, you said you would love to see how to make them too. It's really super easy. So here we go. Now it only takes three ingredients. So two of these you can definitely get at your grocery store uh, or hopefully get at your grocery store. That would be coconut oil and cocoa butter. Now I do get this at my grocery store. It happens to be in the section where you would buy shampoo and makeup and stuff like that and lotion so this is a stick of cocoa butter this is a solid at room temperature so for this one it's pretty soft you're going to need to chop it up so here in a moment i will chop that up so i'll just go ahead and leave it out now the third ingredient is beeswax i'm going to be using these little pellets now i ordered this on amazon I have used solid beeswax bars in the past that I got at a craft store in my town, but this is a pain in the butt because you have to uh, use a grater and grate it and it's very, very hard. So get the pellets way, way, way easier. So all we need to do is weigh out equal parts of each of these ingredients. By equal parts, I mean if you want to start with, if you want uh, three ounces at the end, then weigh out one ounce of each of these. Now you can scale this up or down. My cocoa butter happens to come in exactly one ounce bars. So I'm gonna do one ounce of each of these. So we will weigh them out. You could eyeball this if you don't happen to have a small scale to use the proportions aren't really that critical that it has to be exact, but this is a good starting point. If you want it to be softer in the end, if you want your finished lotion bar to be softer, add more coconut oil. If you want it to be harder, add more beeswax. So I like them equal portions. Now what we're going to do, we'll weigh those out, then we'll melt it together. You could do it in the microwave, I'm going to be a good girl and <laughs> use a double boiler. So a double boiler means you're going to put the stuff that you're melting into one vessel. Then you're going to put that vessel into hot water. So I'm going to use this pan of water. I'll heat this up to boiling. I'll have all my solids in this glass jar in the water bath and melt it that way. You do need to be careful. This gets hot, so you wouldn't want to drop it. Um, and break the glass. You can use a clean empty soup can for better safety but as long as you heat this as the water is heating the glass won't crack and you can really see how everything is melting together that way. So first though we need to weigh out our ingredients. So I'm going to go ahead and chop this up now. Okay, now I mentioned that that was one ounce. So I'm just gonna weigh out one ounce of my beeswax. Now I got this cute little scale at Harbor Freight, very inexpensive. I'll put this on there and press tear and make sure that I'm in ounces and then weigh out one ounce. Alright. Now I have 
happen to have 1.015 ounces. That's close enough. Sorry, Luna. It's okay. And now we'll weigh out our coconut oil. Well, coconut oil is solid at room temperature, but at body temperature it melts. So this is a very low melting oil. So now I'm going to get this in the water bath and get this water boiling. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so this is heating up and starting to melt. I don't know if you can actually see it in here, but I'm just using a bamboo skewer here to stir this as it melts. And like I said before, the great thing about using the mason jar is that it's really easy to see what's happening inside with those beeswax pellets and see if they're fully melted or not. The beeswax takes the longest to melt. So we've still got a ways to go here. Now while that's melting, I will show you what I'm going to pour this into once it's fully melted to form the bars. So I'm using these little um, silicone muffin molds and these work awesomely because you can just pop the lotion bars right out. You can see I didn't actually wash this from a couple days ago when I made some bars. So some little heart ones. These work really well. Now, I just ordered these guys on Amazon. There were two for five bucks, and they say 100% handmade, so that'll be embossed on the top of the bar uh, after it's molded, and I'm going to try these today. So, I'm anticipating I will get about three bars out of this. So, these are bars that I made just a couple of days ago, exactly the same way. So these are another three ounce total batch. And you can see they're solid, but when you rub it on your skin, the lotion comes off, gets warm from your body, and it soaks right in. And this provides a really wonderful moisture barrier on your skin. It keeps the moisture that you already have in, keeps the clay from sucking it out as clay dries on your, the surface of your skin. And you can use these also as a body butter. So after you take a shower, say in the winter time when everything is really dry, after you dry off, just rub the bar all over your body and then rub it in and it's a great way to moisturize your skin and much less messy than trying to put liquid lotion on. Now, I find, as far as pottery goes, that these lotion bars work better or at least equal to hand salve, which is something that I've used a lot in the past when my hands were extremely dry from the studio and they definitely work better than any run-of-the-mill lotion. Okay, so we are fully melted now and I am going to add some little vitamin E uh, oil in here. So I'm just, because I happen to have a large amount of vitamin E capsules, I'm just taking the lazy way here so I don't have vitamin E oil. and just cutting these capsules open and squeezing that in. So we'll give that a really good stir. Now the reason that I don't add the vitamin E in for the full 
boil or melting cycle it's just that I don't want to cook it and uh, make it ineffective so I'm just stirring really well to get that integrated as much as I can and this is hot so use some oven gloves to pick this up Pour it into the molds. I have a little bit left, so I'm just going to pour it into one of these guys. And that's it. Now we just let it cool. Okay, so not sure if you guys will really be able to see this, but with these lotion bars, I've put a really thick coating of lotion on my hands and rubbed it in. And this coating is so good that I can get my hands wet and shake them off and almost all the water will come off that way. So my hands are wet here. I'm just gonna shake them really, really well. And I can get almost all of this water off. So now they're so dry that all I have to do is a tiny little pat and they're completely dry. Now without the lotion, if you get your hands really soaked in water, you're going to have to rub quite a bit to dry them off. And if your hands are already drying out from clay or the like, that rubbing can be really irritating and sort of add to some skin irritation that you may be getting. So the lotion really, really helps with that in more than one way. Now, the lotion bars are cooling at the moment. They are actually in the fridge. <laughs> so in just a minute, I will take those molds out and we'll pop the lotion bars out and you can see what they look like. Okay guys, it's been about a half hour since I poured the liquid lotion into the molds to let it set up and cure. Now, I let it sit out for about five or 10 minutes and then I put it in the fridge. And I did sort of maybe rush the cooling a bit so that I can get these out of the mold and show you guys what they look like. But it should be fine, oh, I've never used these new molds before and hopefully that writing will come out really nicely on here but I'm just gonna pop it right out haha <laughs> cool so here's my lotion bar now, you don't have to use silicone molds for this by the way I forgot to tell you guys that before um, you could use, uh, and I have actually myself in the past used, I've used um, yogurt container, like just pour it into, um, you know, about a half inch thick into the bottom of a yogurt container or like maybe a small sour cream container or something like that. So you don't have to use fancy molds for it, but these work really, really nicely for popping the lotion out. Now, this one, I didn't have very much left, so I probably should have proportioned that better next time. I'll know to not fill these totally full and save enough for a third bar. But that's it. Now, there are a lot of modifications that you can do to this recipe, and I didn't make up this recipe, but out of the different ones that I've tried, I really, really like this one. So just remember, equal parts of coconut oil, beeswax, and cocoa butter. And I forgot to mention, these smell really awesome. You pretty much only smell the cocoa butter, so they smell like chocolate. And when you've got it on your hands, your hands smell like chocolate. It's awesome. <laughs> so I hope this helps you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.